on the EU and HIPAAs, um, very briefly. I think we, we, we shouldn't forget, again, for many people who don't know that, that historically the reason that African countries post-independence were granted free access is that in that phase, which is the pre-the globalization phase, European countries, the ex-colonizing the ex countries, continue to need the raw materials produced in those countries. And they actually then had a vested interest interest in allowing the free movement of, of, of goods and services from Africa. And that agreement was originally reached at Lome. And the whole reason why there's an EPAS is that in terms of the Lome agreement, African ACP countries were allowed duty-free access to uh, countries in the EU. It's as a result of, firstly, the USA petitioning the WTO to declare that that flouts WTO rules, that a deadline was set for African countries now to accept, not only African countries, but ACP countries, to accept that they would have to have a reciprocal relationship with the EU. In other words, if you want free access to, for your goods and services, we must have free access for our goods and services. And if you've got inequality in terms of investment control, then that's a recipe for, for destruction and deindustrialization and decline of your agriculture. However, not, not all the countries of, of, of Africa have signed. And I mean, it, and, uh, an interesting example here is South Africa. And this is something I'm going to just speak a little bit more about what I call the contradictory relationship between South Africa, the EU, and the rest of Africa. South Africa didn't sign this. But before we sort of speak about the good news of South Africa being very principled and not signing the, the uh, economic partnership agreement, one of the things is South Africa, before the EPAs were on the table, South Africa negotiated its own trade agreement with the EU, its own free trade agreement, called the Trade Development and Cooperation Agreement, which was signed in 1999. So it's, it's, it's kind of baffled people organizations on the ground, civil society organizations, social movements. Why did South Africa sign that? And then on the other hand, it wouldn't sign the EPA. Why enter into a relationship of free trade with Europe on the one hand, and then when the thing seems to be consolidated through sign, it doesn't sign the EPA. I, I don't know what it's going to do about that eventually, but it's a, it's a tension, it's a contradiction. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to suggest some thoughts, and I think it's important to share this with an international audience.